For lots of people sleepwalk. For lots of people, that's not a problem. The issue is, are you putting yourself at risk? Is it particularly embarrassing? Is it affecting how you feel during the day? You know, if none of those apply, then you may prefer just to say, well, look, I'm just going to try and improve my sleep a little bit and see what the impact is. But I think particularly if you're putting yourself or somebody else at risk, it's definitely worth trying to solve. What about sleep talking? So sleep talking is, is essentially a very mild version of sleepwalking. So we know that sleep talking often arises from those deep stages of sleep you know it's pretty common there are other situations in which people can talk in their sleep one of the areas that is a very hot topic at the moment is a condition called REM sleep behavior disorder unlike sleepwalking and classic sleep talking which arise from deep non-REM sleep. REM sleep behavior disorder, as the name suggests, arises from REM sleep, from dreaming sleep. And normally we're completely paralyzed in dreaming sleep. The only muscles that work are the muscles that control our eyes and the muscles that allow us to breathe, obvious reasons. But in some individuals, that mechanism of paralysis, which is part and parcel of normal REM sleep, doesn't work properly.